What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. And today we have a massive release reaction for you all. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started, everybody. We got some really cool JC Wings and other manufacturers to dive into here today. So I really hope all of you are excited for this. We're not going to waste any further time. Let's just go ahead and see what JC Wings has going. And if you missed the last release reaction, feel free to check it out with all these amazing in flight models and others. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. We'll start right here with the Cathay Dragon Boeing, or sorry, this is Airbus A330-300 registered Bravo Lima, Brava India. Really good looking aircraft right here. Love the maroon overall. That looks really good. And definitely will be a popular one here as we start in the 1 to 200 scales. So definitely a really cool one to see right there. Our next aircraft is going to be Lutonza Airbus A340-600. This one in the Star Alliance livery registered 3085. No, I think that's the item number. I'm not sure what the actual registration is, but hey, that still looks really great. Uh, I didn't even know they had it on the 346, to be completely honest. So definitely learning myself. So that's really awesome scene. I think that'll be a very popular aircraft here and should sell really well for JC Wings. So a very exciting aircraft. And for anybody interested, that is super cool right there, to say the least. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and continue with these releases. Sorry about that interruption, but nevertheless, we'll take a look at our next aircraft right here as we have two Varig Boeing 747-400s that are polished. So we have uh, Papa Papa Victor Papa India, and we have the same registration, I'm assuming once it flaps up and once it flaps down. So overall, very cool releases right here. They're looking very good here in 1 to 200 scale. And uh, what a price difference as well with the, uh, okay, so the first one actually comes with a stand. That's very cool. So certainly some really quality differences right there. It's really sweet. Next, we have a Japan Air Commuter ATR-42, a stand as well. And this aircraft is Juliet Alpha 05 Juliet Charlie. So pretty cool livery. Not sure if they're promoting a movie or what exactly they're doing there. But overall, that's very cool. And that one's coming in in May. Next, we have a a, &A Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner. And this is Juliet Alpha 901 Alpha. So I think InFlight's done this before, but cool to see a little bit more affordable one. And the mold's still very good on that. So overall, very good choices there. And they're looking good in those departments. And that will take us on to the next page. So much for all that zooming in, right? So let's go ahead and zoom in and see what we can find over here. Our first aircraft is going to be a, uh, that, that, that'll work for this. Uh, we have a Shintin's Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. This is registered Bravo 1160. Several of these are coming with stands, which is pretty cool. So overall, another really good choice. Not many of these have been done yet. So I think that they're making a good choice for getting in here on a very niche based market. And overall, that's looking super good right there. We're also going to find an American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER in the pink ribbon livery. And this is going to be over 759 Alpha November. So really cool to see this aircraft get done in 1200. I think it's been done previously, but it's been a long time. So overall, a very exciting release. Big nose tire, it seems like, but maybe that's normal. So looks really good. Definitely a very exciting release. And that one should be a really quality offering right there. It's really cool. We're also going to get Air China Airbus E320 with the blue pedal delivery. And this is Bravo 2377. So another very cool release right here. Certainly getting after it with all the various illustrations and a very cool special scheme from Air China. So certainly a big fan of that effort right there. We're also going to find a Zula ATR72 a stand. This is going to be Pop 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 Tango Uniform. Try saying that three times fast. Really great livery. I love that mid tone blue along with the navy. That is really great effort. So it's really cool to see that Zul with a very nice livery right here and that looks super super nice so i don't think that anybody can complain with that certainly a really good effort and overall looking very good for that particular airframe very nice let's continue on to the top we are still in 1 200 with this skymarks airbus e380 bare metal delivery and this is foxtrot whiskey whiskey sierra lima very cool to see this right here skymark i didn't even know they had a380s but it's even cooler now know that they have a bare metal model of one so this is going to be quite a quality offering overall i think this is looking really good so just checking on the sunset real quick to make sure that I wasn't missing a really good one. So overall, looking very good on that. And that is certainly another really quality offering right there. Very cool. We have a China Airlines Boeing 777-300ER Dream Lift, Dreamliner, rather. And this is going to be Bravo 18007. So I'm not sure if they're kind of hyping up the 77 here or what exactly they're doing. But this one looks really good. Maybe it's the hybrid house livery on the China Airlines 333. I don't know exactly what we're going for there. But still looking good, nevertheless, and definitely excited for that particular aircraft. We have a Ryanair Boeing 737-800, and this is going to be the uh, Kmont, I, I'm probably botching the name, so I won't even try to say it out loud, but anyway, it's Echo India Delta Whiskey Echo. Really cool aircraft right there. Great to see Ryanair getting all this representation here in the 1-200 landscape, and overall, I think they're doing a great job with that one, so looking very good right there. 
there. Ooh, a Southwest Boeing 727-200 Desert Gold livery. And this is going to be November 566 Pop Echo. Really cool aircraft to see right here. This one's quite nice. Uh, I thought the Gemini was doing this one at some point. Maybe JC did the 1 in 200. But anyway, very cool to see this. I know it's going to be a popular seller among many retro US collectors. So definitely a great choice. And that one's going to sell really well. And you can get it for $111.95. Pretty fair price. All right, JC, turning it up right there, looking good. We're not quite done with one 200 those. We have this Kuwait Airways Airbus A300, and it's gonna be nine kilo Alpha Mike Delta. Another great looking aircraft right here. Overall, it looks really good. They did a good job with the aerials and whatnot there, so that's looking good on that particular aircraft. We got a Scandinavian Boeing 767-300ER with Stan. This is Lima Romeo November Charlie Golf. Great looking plane right here. This one should turn out really well too. I think they uh, have a pretty good 7.6 mold going there, so overall, that should be a pretty good seller right there. Very nice to see that okay we have a uh merry go i'm not exactly sure uh doubles dc 930 this one looks really cool it has the handshake livery so overall that's a very unique aircraft should be a pretty popular one there for the our collectors in mexico and also sure there might be some uh southern u.s interest on that as well so overall that aircraft's looking good and a very good price you can get it at as well another great price here on this air new zealand boeing 737 500 holidays livery this is registered zulu Kilo Foxtrot Romeo Echo. Very cool kind of flowers on there. I think that that certainly has a really cool stride, but the coolest part definitely is Air New Zealand in green. You're not going to see that one every day. So kind of surprised they didn't go for a different color than Intel. But overall, that's a very unique aircraft and will be very distinctive for those interested. Continuing on one to 200, here's our, uh, what is that? I'm not exactly sure. A brew in government Boeing 787-8 and this is going to be a BBJ with the flaps down and this is going to be Victor 8 Oscar Alpha Sierra another very unique tail number right here and that's a really nice cute livery right there pretty simple but overall it gets the job done and it's looking really good we also have the standard one because why not only a four dollar difference there here's an Air France Boeing 737-500 and this uh, is registered Foxtrot Golf Juliet November Tango so another very cool looking aircraft right there and that one should turn out very well it's cool to see that and we also have that Singapore Airlines 757-200 registered 9 Victor Sierra Golf November with the older titles so that one certainly looks pretty cool and will be great for anybody interested in a Singapore 75 got some previously but good to get another one here in 2024 Next in line, we are on to 1 to 400 along last, starting off really hot with the Korean Air Boeing 77-9, and this is registered Hotel Lima 7206. Now, this one does interest me quite a bit because I have the Phoenix one, and that one has some wing flex on it, which isn't a problem, but this one, of course, does have the normal wings on it, so I'll definitely have to consider that. Korean's kind of been bouncing between equipment a little bit. DFW, I've seen some triple threes in there, so I'll kind of let that settle out and then make a decision. I think I should be able to snag this one up for a while if I do choose, but yeah, really cool to see that i'm sure we're getting a flaps down on that too no that's a surprise here's a uh this is going to be an ember e erj 195 e2 house colors livery in the pro uh profit hunter uh colors which is a very unique scheme it looks really cool one to 200 once again i think that's a great plane overall it looks really cool the navy black is super nice and then you got a little bit of blue to touch it up so definitely really cool really excited to get one of these and one to 400 and overall it's going to be absolutely wonderful so looking very forward to that here's an alaska Airlines 737 400 and this is going to be registered november 763 alpha sierra another cool looking aircraft right here great to see i think it's half passenger half cargo i'm pretty sure which is very distinctive. So really cool to see them getting in on this here. And overall, I think they're doing a really good job. So that's certainly really sweet to see right there. That is absolutely awesome. We're also gonna find a Qantas Boeing 737-400, 75 years delivery. And this is gonna be Victor Hotel Tango Juliet Whiskey. Another really cool looking aircraft right here. This one should turn out really well. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's all looking like. And as I've been saying, the Qantas, uh, or the Australian uh, market base there for collecting is doing fantastic. Next, we're gonna find a Nork Air ATR-72, Hotel Sierra Delta uh, Romeo Delta. Cool looking aircraft right here at the nose. I've always thought the slivery is pretty fascinating. Uh, so pretty sweet to see it here with all the colors though, and it's looking very nice today. Here's an Air Berlin Airbus E320, and this is gonna be Fran Force One, which is very interesting. There was my alarm to turn in my homework, which I already did, so we can neglect that. Uh, 
but anyway looking good for this delta alpha bravo fox tranquilo great looking plane with the red overall looking very good and that's certainly a really good one to see right there here's the silk air f70 9 victor sierra lima kilo cool to see this aircraft as well i think the bird on the tail is very neat a uh, pretty reasonable price as well so looking good pretty big nose gear but that's not bad at all that'll work so we'll take that good aerials that's really cool and there is the flaps down i knew it was going to be somewhere around here so looking good for that aircraft as well Okay, so now I'm going to have to, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Here's, uh, do I have, okay, what I can do is I'll throw this over here along with this, and then I will load up the next page so that I don't spoil any on accident because I'm gonna duplicate it and then scroll all the way down and then push the back button so that I can get to the next page. So that's exactly what we're doing. All right, and now I can bring this back over here and we can do the remaining aircraft. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's zoom in and see what we got. We'll start on the right because that's the good side here. Okay, next up we have a Thompson's Holiday Boeing 767-200 Britannia, and this is going to be Gulf Bro Bravo Romeo India Gulf. So really cool looking aircraft right there, and that one should turn out quite well. So looking very forward to that. We have a Copa Boeing 737 MAX 9. Very cool. Hazo the Tempo, and this is going to be Hotel Papa 9926. Charlie Mike Papa. These Copa Tel numbers are always a uh, treat for sure. That's a cool aircraft. Very awesome to see that. Really cool special delivery from Copa, and I would like to get an updated one sometime, but the 738 I got for now is relatively sufficient in the uh, Fitchnell Airport. So looking good. Here's an Iceland Air 737 400. That's a cool plane. Tango Foxtrot, Foxtrot India Delta, and it also looks really good to be quite honest. So. That one should turn out quite well, so I'm eager to see what that aircraft's going to be all about. And here we have a Dash 8 200 House Colors aircraft. This is Charlie Foxtrot, Bravo, Charlie Sierra. Overall, that aircraft's looking really good. Should turn out really well, so looking forward to seeing what that aircraft's going to be all about. And another very interesting offering right there. Make sure we're not running out here. Okay, we're still in JC Wings. So let's continue here with this Aeromexico Polish 757-200 and this November 804 Alpha Mike. Really great looking aircraft right there. Love the polish. I think they did a really good job assessing that aircraft and developing it. So very cool one, very unique with the red stripes. So that should turn out really well. It looks really good. These pictures from Jet Collector, by the way, are fantastic. So shout out to them. Here is the, just to click away, KLM 737-300. Now got on 900 previously. Now getting on 301 to 400. Another very cool livery and really cool excuse me, that they were promoting the internet at this time. So super cool to see KLM getting their representation there. A Cafe Pacific Bone Trip 7 300 ER with the new colors and the flaps down. Yeah, always great to get a Cafe 333. You can never complain with that. So very cool to see JC Wings getting after there with the normal and the flaps down. So that is absolutely awesome. And then we still have GCs, so let's continue. Ooh, this is that Atlas Air 747 assembly livery that I saw. I knew that they released this, and I saw somebody get it. However, I didn't know that it was this recent. So makes perfect sense, though. That is a great-looking aircraft. I'd like to get one of these at some point. We'll see if it works into the budget, but, man, it looks really sweet. So that is a really cool aircraft right there. Love that metallic green. I just wish there was a triple nine out already. I would definitely get it, but nevertheless, might just have to go for that to call it a day. How about a Condor 330neo? This time it's going to be the Condor C, which which is the blue one in this case, Delta Alpha November Romeo Bravo. Great looking plane. The mold's really solid. I got that green one from Jim Nice. So looking forward to seeing what this is going to be all about. So overall looking very good with that aircraft right there. We have a C-40A Sunseekers, and this is 165832. Great looking aircraft, plenty of aerials, plenty of fun going on with this particular offering. And overall, that looks really great. So certainly excited to see that aircraft and hopefully it comes to fruition in its full connotation. We also got a Altalia Sky Team ERJ-190 Echo India Romeo November Delta. Great aircraft right here. Glad to see what it's all about. It's looking super cool. So. I think they did a great job with this and I look forward to seeing what that aircraft's gonna be all about right there. That is super sweet. Okay, JC Wings continue. This time we got the Morocco government, 747-8 BBJ, Charlie November, Mike Bravo Hotel. Saw the 400 unexpectedly at Miami a year and a half ago. That was super fun. Great to see the 748 getting this treatment. I think it looked really good on there. So yeah, definitely would like to go for some more of these uh, government planes, but they're pretty tough to utilize in the model airports. So gotta make the investment worth it in every aspect. So what can you do? But I would like to get some of those at some point. We do have an Air China Boeing 747-8i, and this is Bravo 2. 479 very cool aircraft right here 
Uh, they only got a few of these, so it's really cool to see it when they do come up here in the model scale. So that aircraft's looking really good. Pretty iconic scheme there. So that one should turn out pretty well. And a Polar DHL 747-8 freighter, November 852 Gulf Tango. Great looking aircraft right here. Definitely gonna have to snag one of these up sometime. Pretty versatile, and I've really enjoyed the Cargo Lux one I've had, and also the Polar DHL 763. So we'll see. Got to get that variety, though, as I was talking about. Euro Wings Airbus E321 Delta Alpha India Delta Papa. Really great looking 321. It looks solid, honestly. So that's effort with the IAEs. Solid model. And if you're looking for one, that is the one that goes snag up. That's really great. Okay, still in JC. Wow. Okay, impressive. Okay, so this is the Farewell Asiana Airlines Boeing 747-400. This is Hotel Lima 7428. Very good timing by them. Very unfortunate that these just got retired, but they certainly had a great life, and I'm glad that we got to see them at places like in that picture. So shout out to that respected photographer. But overall, great looking aircraft. Awesome picture that they used for that. And long live the Asiana 747-400. What a great aircraft that was. So really cool to see that right there. Now we're getting an air can, the Cargo 767-300 freighter. However, this one has no wingless. It's pretty interesting. Phoenix did a wing one last year. So cool to see this one getting done now from JC. Pretty cool. Looks really good. A Finnair 350 900. Interesting with a blue exhaust on it. This is going to be Oscar Hotel Lima Whiskey Sierra. So really cool to see that. That's a quality release and should sell pretty well. Uh, I'm surprised about the blue exhaust, but overall it does look really good. So that one should sell pretty well. So I'm eager to see how that goes. JC, my goodness, they just get after it. Here's the house colors, E2 once again. Very cool to see that make it the 400, pretty reasonable price as well. So we'll see, uh, maybe we'll have to see, that's a cool one, but gotta find the most universal aircraft for sure. And then there is a uh, Junio Airlines Boeing 77-9, and that's the Jensen Impact, and this is flaps down, so that means we got normal. Great to see both these right here. Very unique livery. They did a good job on it, so that one will be good right there, and the Asiana flaps down as well. One more row. Okay, let's do the same that we just did. Actually, why don't we do this for fun? Oh, actually, I let's see. Okay, everybody close their eyes in three, two, one. Okay, those were NG. So actually, there's only one more, and then we'll jump into our next video, the series next week. And that's going to be, without giving you too much of a teaser for the next aircraft, a Thai uh, McDonald's MD-11 in the old color scheme. And this is gonna be Hotel Sierra Tango Mike Delta. So cool aircraft and glad to see Thai getting the MD-11 representation right there. So I really hope you all enjoyed this JC Wings video, a bunch of great releases. Looking forward to seeing more of them in the future. And let me know what you think in the comments section below. Let me know if you're getting any. There's some good choices there. So a lot to evaluate, but overall looking good. Again, really hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust process. Do you love and love you do? My name is Rider of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Rider of Aviation is signing off.